Coach Kim here, seasoned personal trainer. Are, is your warranty starting to run out on your knees? Then this is going to be a great exercise or video for you to watch on knee friendly standing exercises. So if you could grab a nice sturdy chair, remember to always check with that doctor before starting any exercise program, put some good shoes on and let's get ready to get to work. So three exercises we're going to be doing. I need you to get that chair, make sure it's handy by you there. And these are very knee friendly. But like with anything else, if something bothers you, limit your range of motion or just nick that exercise and go to the next one. So I'm going to time you. You don't have to think. You don't want to count. Nobody wants to think when they work out. Let Coach Kim be your thinker here. So let me demo the exercises. You can hold on to something if you need to. If you want to challenge your balance and you're able to, you can do it without, without holding. But you're going to come out to the side and then come back slow. And I want that standing knee to be soft. If you have to hold on, that's fine too. And you can use a wall as well. But out to the side and come back down slow. So this is a standing outer leg lift. We're going to do each side. Next exercise, number two, you're going to do a little hip flexion and then leg extension. Now I want you to notice it's two movements in one. I'm going to lift up, flex that hip, and then I'm going to flex or I'm going to extend my leg and I'm flexing my foot back towards me and then bring it back down. So we are activating the hip as well as working the quadricep in that exercise. I love the two for ones, don't you? And this is not happy hour. I will be your happy hour. Last exercise. I'd like you to hold on to something or again, challenge it without balance, without um, holding on if you want to work your balance, but you're going to have your feet facing forward for one set and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'll be talking to you and telling you when to turn your feet in and then I'll be telling you when to turn your feet out. And this works that lower leg. And again, you want to work all the muscles around the knee. That's the goal here. So you can do this workout, oh, I'd say at least three times a week. And remember your off days, get in some cardio swim bike, do what, do what works for you um, for these knees. People with knee issues just have to find what works for them and work with that. All right, let's get started. First one, standing outer leg lift. Three, two, one, good. Take that outer leg. And remember, I don't want you leaning your body. This is, I don't want this, okay? Soft knee out to the side and come back. You wanna work on that balance right here. That's it, out and back. So hands here to make it a little harder. Soft knees. We're doing 30 seconds each side. Very nice. Out, back. And ways to make it harder if you want to get a mini band, start with a light mini band and put it around the top of your knees. You could always make it harder. And rest. Good. Now, instead of me moving my chair to the other side, I'm going to go ahead and get, and I don't want you to look at my rear end. That's not much fun to look at. But you're going to go out to the side this way. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Out to the side. Good. So if you have that wall or you want to move the chair to the other side, that's fine. Whew, kind of learn to go with the flow here. Movements, medicine, motions, lotion. Those of you that know Coach Kim, you know you hear that one a lot. You're going to be chanting it in your sleep. You've got 15 more seconds. Movements, medicine, motions, lotion. There is something to this thing called exercise. It not only helps you physically and all those muscles and helps you move better, but it helps you mentally as well. Let's get one more. Beautiful. All right. Second exercise. Remember the hip flexion to leg extension, 30 seconds each leg. Ready? Here we go. Lift that leg and then extend it straight. Beautiful. Ready? Here we go. Lift. And it's like a little kick. Woo! Yeah. Imagine that something in front of you there, like a big bag of Cheetos and you're kicking it out the door. Perfect. Uh-huh. You wouldn't be doing that if it was a bag of apples though. You're halfway in. Up. And kick. Come back down. Up and kick. Remember, you can't out exercise a bad diet. You're going to hear me give you these little tips, and there's a lot of truth to them, all these quotes. Up and kick. Let's shoot for the other side. Ready? Here we go. Hip. Try to get that leg up to a 90 degree and then kick it. Perfect. Now, some of you are saying, hey, I can only do this far. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, do what works for you. If you can get it up higher, that's great. If not, that's okay too. Kick. Mm hmm. Up, kick. You gotta invest in yourself, your body, your mind. <sighs> Need it, you love it. Jack Lane had that great quote in philosophy exercise is king, nutrition is queen. Together it makes the kingdom. Yes, he was the godfather of fitness. All right, so put your feet. I'm gonna have you actually start off with the toes in a little bit pigeon toed. If you need to hold on to something, it's fine. Keep the body nice and tall. Ready? Go up on the toes and back down. Good. Up on the toes, back down. Perfect. Toes in. Just like this. There we go. I'm a timing you. Now, turn your feet in straight. Put them straight. That's it. It works a different part of the calf. 
And these are all good, all the way up, back down. If you have some hip issues or you've had recent hip surgery, you need to have those feet just straight on this one, okay? Keep going, now turn your feet out, up, back down. Good, keep going, you feel that in the calves? Good, all the way up and rest. Now we've completed one round of everything. If you're a beginner, I'd probably stop right there. If you're more immediate or you're really feeling fiery, let's do a second round. For advanced, you're gonna do a third round on your own, okay? Three times a week is perfect for this. Let's get ready. Outer leg lift to the side. Three, two, one, out to the side. And remember ways to make it harder. You can get some mini bands, Vive Health sells them. You can put them around the top of your knee there to make it harder. And you can always add time too. So 30 seconds isn't enough. Do 40 seconds. More, remember if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Keep going, up, up, up. Keep going. And every muscle in your body is loving this. Oh, those trillions of cells. If it was a dog, your tail would be wagging right now. All right, let's get ready for the other side. Ready, three, two, one, here we go. Now, if you're on your own, now remember, you can either try the balance here, or if you need to hold onto a wall, put the chair on the other side, that's fine. Keep going and remember to breathe. Breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Mm -hmm. Outer leg lift. This is working what's called your abductors. These are all the stabilizer muscles to the knee. Keep going. So there's meaning and purpose behind all these great exercises. Up, back down. Good, a couple more seconds. Feel it in the ankle too, don't you? Perfect, good. Second exercise, remember it's the hip flexion to the leg extension. And if, again, you need to modify and not go as high, that's fine. Ready, three, two, one, lift the hip and then flex the foot and extend. Good, two movements in one. Coach Kim, happy to be your happy hour no matter what day it is right here. And it's always a great day. Whew! You know, we don't have a great day. We make it a great day. Just remember that. Love it. Kick up and back down. That's so true. It's a choice, our thoughts. We have 60,000 thoughts a day, so choose good ones. We tend to have a lot of those same recurring thoughts all day. Did you realize that? And what I don't want you to have, and let's switch sides, is a thought that says, I can't, I can't, I can't. Remember, whether you think you can or can't, you're right. And let's go. Up and kick back down. So I say, I can try it. I can do it. Whoo, here we go. I'm a big believer in those positive affirmations and in what we think about, we bring about. So just remember that. Up, kick. Do you want to choose to be positive or negative? Which one do you want? And we all need to have a no complaining fast for at least a week in your life. What are the rules to that? No complaining for seven days. What do you think? Rest. I mean, you guys are already complaining, going, I'm feeling this all oh, about. No, not, no complaining. All right, last one. Let's start with the toes in again. Pigeon toed this time. Okay, ready, set, go. Up on the toes, standing calf raises. So again, by the time we're done here, it'll be two rounds. We're almost done here. If you're feeling feisty, you're more advanced. Shoot for three rounds, all the way up. All you need is a timer, or you can count reps if you prefer to do 10 reps. Up on the toes. Now, put your feet straight. Go up a few straight. Mm-hmm. Up on the toes. How are those calves feeling? Good stuff, and I do hope you have good shoes. Now turn your feet out. We're gonna go just a couple seconds over time, okay? Give me two more for fun. We're gonna go a little over time, and up. Perfect, and make sure with those knees, you wear good, solid shoes. It's so important. Go to your local shoe store and just say, hey, I've got some knee issues. What kind of shoes would you recommend, okay? It's very, 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 very important to wear those good quality shoes. And that goes for your sandals or flip-flops as well. Just don't get the cheapy, cheapy things. You need to get good quality. It supports not only your knees, but your back, your neck. So I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm proud of you. And the hardest part is showing up. No one ever says, I wish I didn't work out. Have a great day.